Get on the train Before it leaves the station The truth train is coming Gonna run them down Run them down Hey there folks Okay so I went over and checked out Not Scary Farm tonight like I said And I went ahead and made a little video To kind of show everybody You know what to expect there What it is where you know what What's all there and that sort of thing and actually came up with another idea because there was something there I forgot about uh, and you'll see here as I'm walking towards the entrance and uh, so this is a, a basically a video of me walking from the parking lot to the entrance and basically I show you the spot where I think the we should roll out you know the roll the banner out to to take our picture with the not scary farm behind us and uh, you know where, where it'll all be visible in the picture so uh, show that spot and you know just show a couple things just to give a lay of the land so to speak so that people who are going to plan to come when we really schedule this um, because obviously this one just was too quick to make I wanted to try to make it for opening night but it was just it was too fast you know people couldn't really plan for it so that's understandable uh, anyways I'm thinking maybe we plan it for October 31st so um that's a thought I had, so that maybe that's that's one way to go, and we, we just schedule now Not Scary Farm with the banner for, for October 31st, and, you know, and then we work on some of the other things you're going to hear me suggest, which I'll talk about after the little video here. So, uh, here we go. This is the, just a walk from the parking lot to the entrance with me pointing out a few things along the way, so here we go. All right. Hello, everybody. Here at Not Scary Farm. Just got parked, and... Uh, so it's gonna be a little bit of a walk before we get over to where the entrance is. But I figured this was cool because everybody could get a kind of a lay of the land uh, for when we redo this uh, for a weekend, most likely, because it'll probably be better, um, you know. But I came here to check it out on opening night because I figured that was gonna be probably a pretty big deal with a lot of people. So I dropped by here. And uh, so this is basically the walk we're taking over to the entrance. And uh, undoubtedly, when I get over to the sidewalk here, once I get through this parking lot, we're going to probably see other people, some people dressed up in costumes and that sort of thing. And, uh, you know, but it's going to be a bit of a walk because I had to drive a ways to get, you know, to this point. So, um, anyways. So that video I did earlier, it's pretty crazy. Zellner's tweet, and that's pretty excellent news that they've already had a pretty big tip, you know, come in from the hotline or come in from the uh, the reward money being offered. So that's pretty pretty interesting stuff there. And and it's like I've it's like I said, you know, it's ridiculous anytime I see anybody trying to suggest that it's just like when they all try to say Zellner was stalling Zellner stalling she's stalling this and that whatever <laughs> ended up with a due process violation that got remanded back to the circuit court you know so it's 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 one I wonder what people like that people like that that say things like that and what they're looking at and possibly what they have their heads up you know so now, I already drove down this street, by the way, on my way to the parking lot. I had to make a right turn over there where the lights are. And, you know, so I've already driven down this one street. So it's going to be a little while, a bit of a walk. But, you know, exercise is good. Gets the heart rate up a little bit, you know, keeps you healthy. Oh, Telemundo's here. All right. See, these are all the these are all the preferred parking lots over here if you want to pay like something like uh, 38 dollars or something like that you can park in these preferred lots uh, i opted for the exercise and paying less <laughs> but so you can see there's some booths right there to pay for the premium parking the preferred parking they call it This is the Knott's Hotel's little parking lot here. 
Maybe we rent a hotel room for that night and then we can park right here. <laughs> it's an idea anyway. Oh, it looks like there was a different way I could have came possibly. Don't know how much faster it would have been. Oh, you can hear people having fun on the roller coaster. Continuing to walk. We're gonna walk right underneath this roller coaster here. It's been a while since I've been to Knott's. Some of the supports for the roller coaster. The road runs right underneath it, the sidewalks run right underneath it. Getting closer to the entrance here. You can see the shops outside of the main entrance here. shops here I think there's some in, you know the place where you can buy their poisonberry jam of course and that sort of stuff souvenir stores and it's funny how souvenir stores and airport stores all look the same oh here we go hay streets yummy Up in there, it looks like. Chicken to go. And this is where it starts looking more farm like, ranch like, building design. It's the Knott's Chicken Dinner Restaurant. Oh, dude, when we come back here, we gotta get a picture with the banner with this guy. Holy crud. It's huge. He's uh, about two feet taller than I am. Whoops. You can see what I mean. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. Anyways. <laughs> Oh. All the merchants, all the mannequins have skulls on them. Another souvenir store. Hey, Jimmy Buffett. Oh, I don't know how many did you buy. I don't know why I just did this. <laughs> I, think, I think there's some uh, some gold and then there are nuggets. <laughs> so I think we're coming up on the entrance now. Yep, there it is over there. This is the cable car kitchen. There you go. Funnel cakes and floats. Ooh, 
that sounds that sounds actually pretty darn good so all right here we go over towards the entrance Obviously not going in, but if you guys can see that right up there. Here, let me get a better angle on it. In fact, you can see this right here. This is the street right out here, and then this is a little walk path right off of the street, and probably where we're going to want to set up with the banner, besides over by the, the chicken. Is right about here. Hey, I didn't say monster. I said something like something like right about here. Well, maybe over here, because there happens to be a tree. So, oops. zooming it in. You guys can see right there where it says nuts and then scary farm they've got it changed for the time being so uh i don't know if you guys can see it's pretty dark but there it looks like uh what is that boomerang i think it's or no oh that might be a new ride i haven't ridden yet anyway so this is where i'm thinking where we we set up with the banner right here by this white fence you know with the group of people or whatever with that not scary farm in the background lots of people coming through the gates uh most likely dressed up all you know and that sort of stuff so that was what I was thinking here. I uh, hope we can reschedule this event and, and get some people out here and have it be, you know, pretty fun. So, that was my thoughts. This is where you come in off of Beach Boulevard. Right over there is Beach Boulevard and then you come in this way and you go down and that's where the parking lots are. That's the way we just walked. So, that's what we're looking at. So I hope there's a lot of people that are willing to come down here on a weekend, on a Saturday night most likely, and, um, and, and have a little fun, take some pictures with the banner. We've got several other little events that we're thinking about coming up. Um, and, you know, like we're going we're gonna to go down to Sunset Strip, get like pictures at like the Roxy, Whiskey A Go Go, uh, and that sort of stuff on the strip, and then hop over, because it's so close, hop right on over to... Um, the Hollywood sign, because uh, it's real close to there, and then even Universal City Walk, and make like a Saturday of it where we do those things, um, you know, and then do another one where we go over to like Disneyland and in, in uh, downtown Disney, and go hang around there with the banner with some people, and uh, you know, create some attention and that sort of thing right there, and then also, um, but also the day when we're doing the Hollywood sign and uh the hollywood sign and sunset boulevard the strip then we'll also go over to universal city walk because the universal city walk has a bunch of stuff so and then you know like i said we can do we can then do um uh downtown disney and like out in front of disneyland similar like what we're gonna do here like i was just showing you but out in front of disneyland and do a picture like that go down to downtown Disney, go to like ESPN zone and you know, with the banner and see what we can get and jungle, the rainforest cafe maybe or whatever, just try to hit some spots that, you know, are somewhat popular and iconic, but downtown Disney's a lot of fun. So that should be pretty cool actually. So anyways, so that's about it. I think we, we've got more events than that coming up too. We're also thinking about one going to Venice beach um right there where the weightlifters uh hang out and lift weights or that type of thing and get a picture with the banner kind of there hit some other little iconic little spots there in santa monica um possibly like melrose um and you know we're, we're, we're looking to create a couple of different things to get as many people as possible you know involved and and so hope you go hope you guys can make some time for some of these things because they really can be a lot of fun, uh, and I just hope we can drum up some, uh, obviously, some awareness, some awareness, and and that sort of stuff for Stephen and Brendan. So. Okay, so that's basically what it looks like there, at Not Scary Farm. So that's the walk from the parking lot to the front gates, 
Um, I showed you the spot where I think we'll set up right there in, in, uh, in outside of those white fences and set up there, do the picture with the banner, take a few. I'll have the GoPro there, hopefully have somebody there GoProing, you run it, you know, recording with the GoPro the whole time we're there, you know, taking pictures and, you know, whatever with it, just for fun to have the video of us, you know, uh, doing it and, 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 you know, getting the banner out and all that sort of stuff. So, uh, that's the thoughts. So, and then, and then from there, I think we go just to like somewhere local, little local pub, like a somewhere where we can maybe have a cocktail and something to eat, um, was my thought. So, uh, but I know some people may want to actually go in, so I don't know what we'll to maybe discuss that, uh, before the day comes. So, and, and if so, maybe there'll be, I don't know, maybe there's something on Groupon where we can get a, uh, you know, I don't know, however many passes, uh, where we get them at a slight discount for buying in bulk, essentially. Uh, Groupon's usually pretty cool, but I don't know if they have anything with Not Scary Farm, so uh, I can check it out. But I would have to see if there's interest in actually going in or if everybody's more content with saving a little bit of money and just going to a local place to eat and hang and talk about you know, supporting and Stephen and Brendan and all that, you know, and, and so let me know. Anyway, we're planning other things as you heard me at the end of that video. We're planning, um, something at Sunset Strip so that hopefully a group of us go down there. Um, hopefully even having, you know, Don from Colorado rolling with his Justice Mobile. Um, I, I, I will have my Justice Mobiles and we can go down the Sunset Strip and, and get some cool pictures with the banner in front of the places like the, the Roxy and, you know, the Whiskey A Go Go and, you know, just like, and, you know, and then from like going from the Sunset Strip, there's kind of cool things all along the Sunset Strip. They have these guitars there now for certain bands. Um, so like, you know, like there's even one for the Black Eyed Peas. There's one for Freddie Mercury and Queen. There's, I mean, just a bunch of these guitars that are there to commemorate certain bands. Um, so that we may even, you know, check those out and maybe take some pictures with those. So, a lot of cool stuff on the strip. Then, from there, we can hop over, because it's real close, to the Hollywood sign and do a picture with the banner in front of the Hollywood sign. Uh, the, the Hollywood sign will be back, back in the distance a bit, but it'll still be right there behind us. So, uh, get a few pictures there like that. And uh, so, that's this, this is some of the thoughts. And then, from there, because it's also really close by... Make this like a Saturday thing where we do all, like all three of these things, you know, on a Saturday for people that want to do it. Um, and then go from, you know, 30 minutes at the Hollywood sign probably, but then, and then head over to Universal City Walk because it's real close by. And that's basically the little, it's kind of like downtown Disney um, where it's outside the park. It's just a, it's just a, a, a strip and it has like, you know, shops, uh, places to eat. Um, and various just cool, you know, things. Um, the Universal City Walk has this really cool uh, wizards uh, type of thing. You know, uh, it's really cool stuff. Look, all I can tell you is because it's Universal Studios. You know, it's it's well, it's kind of part of Universal Studios the way that Downtown Disney is part of Disneyland. So we can hop and do those three things in one day. Then we also have a plan to maybe go down to Muscle Beach at Venice Beach. And maybe go over where the weightlifters are and do one there or two there and with a little video, you know, going of us taking the pictures. Then there in Venice, uh, real close to the, actually where the weightlifters are, there's this really cool building that has a mural of Jim Morrison um, on the side of it. Really cool. So we can maybe do some pictures there with that in the background and so that sort of stuff. So these are some of the thoughts we're having. These, you know, for me, this is just something that I think could be cool because... It just creates a little bit more of a spectacle uh, for people to see. You know, it's not just something that they saw on Netflix now. It's like something that they're actually seeing manifest itself in real life in front of their eyes. So I think it's advantageous in that sense. So I hope we get. I know in the. I know in early October. I've already had a couple people tell me that right around early October they're going to be in Southern California. So we can we can schedule. We can try to schedule this or one of these things for that time so that those people coming in can be a part of it um that's the idea here those that want to be a part of it great let me know 
um, email me, um, you know, it's easier to, through Discord probably for you to just message me through Discord if you're on there. Um, I have a Facebook page, um, so, and you can message me through the page, so that's, that's another option, um, and like I said, my email's, uh, ericosemam at gmail.com, that's it, that's simple, so, all right, anyways, that's about it for this one, I wanted to explain to everybody what the idea was with these events, uh, wanted to go ahead and give everybody the lay of the land there of what it's like at Knott's Scary Farm. Uh, to give people an idea of what to suspect, you know, to expect, I should say, to expect, and, you know, and hopefully we'll get some, we'll get, you know, a nice group of people there, and, 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 and it could be that seeing four, four to, you know, ten other people there, you know, taking pictures with the banner and whatever, and it might get their attention, get them curious and coming over and going, oh, wow, and, because, man, Folks, I gotta tell you, when we were in Sydney, and we went to the Duke of Enmore Theater, and we and we opened up that banner in the lobby at the Duke of Enmore, it was like everybody ran up wanting to take pictures with it. It was like it was crazy. We didn't expect all. The, we didn't expect that kind of interest. We were just gonna take pictures with it ourselves at the Duke of Enmore, and suddenly it was like people were like jumping up to like come take pictures with it. And so I'm thinking. If we find the right, you know, situation, um, enough people that, that watch the Netflix documentary and just see some people there, you know, doing this, it may cause them to come over and want to take the pictures. They can, in, they'll end up being in the video that I'm, that I'm talking about. So these are just some of the thinking out loud ideas that I'm having so that people kind of get an idea of hope where I, where I hope it's going and, and all that sort of stuff. So anyways, then we'll be talking about this obviously coming up. So we'll be obviously talking about planning the next event as soon as possible to give everybody as much time to plan for it. I think it's going to be somewhere between October 7th and October, I think, 18th, somewhere in that neighborhood, uh, but haven't pinned it down just yet, I don't think. So, uh, but that's what we're looking at. So, all right, we'll see you guys. Thanks for tuning in. If you haven't already, please hit subscribe. See ya. Hello.